Our next story is from China. Its property crisis is unraveling. One of the biggest developers is going under. Evergrande is over. The court has ordered it for the company to be liquidated, meaning Evergrande will be broken up and sold for parts. Now, Evergrande defaulted in 2021. It owes some $300 billion. You must hear what the judge said, and I'm quoting, it is time for the court to say enough is enough. The creditor should be prepared to write off some loans because more defaults seem inevitable. As for the investors, Evergrande should be a cautionary tale. Because when the going gets tough, the Chinese government bails. They seem to be doing the same now. There is no assurance of a rescue from Beijing, none. And without any financial guarantees from the government, what options do investors have but to exercise caution, pull their money, and distance themselves from China's unstable economy?